What is going on, guys? This is Game with Red, and I'm here to show you the new Xbox Creator update. This is the new dashboard that's coming out to the public in March 2017. Yeah, that's right, two months away. I am in the preview program, so I am lucky enough to be one of the first chosen to get this update. Now, I've had it for a few days to kind of go around it and see what I like about it and what I don't like. And I'll give you my thoughts, and I'll show you around. So there are three key things that were added. Uh, well, four technically. The first, as you can see, it's changed a little bit. Uh, now whatever game you're playing will be highlighted or app as soon as you load up in the middle. On the right-hand side, all the stuff is still the same. Um, if you didn't have a background image like me, you would see the game art in the background. And you can see now you can get to your share, your explore, your hub, then your last five um, either games or whatever you were doing is here all your pins are still here now before you would have the home button where you would double tap and you would get home now everything is streamlined and there you can do it with one press of the home button like this and as you can see we still have the settings and all that but now it's easily accessed by pressing up and down but with one button press we now have home here but if you also press left on the d-pad they're both the same so home and the left on D-pad are the same. But you get now you have new choices. So instead of just going out to the dash and having to find everything, right here you have home, games and apps, stores. You can start your games, your settings, and your pins are attached to this. So you don't have to go searching. If the, you, know, you put your favorite pins here, you can get to them really quickly, which I like. Moving on. So let's say we're playing a game. Let's say we're playing a game. As you can see, we get the game started. If I tap the home once, you can now see up in the top, we have save a screenshot, record that, or we can press a button for recording options. Now, when we press this button, now we have a new set of options instantly available. Start recording, record last 15 seconds, all the way up to record last five minutes. Before, you'd have to do this through the menu, and it was it clunky. It took get time to get there. Now, you can do it instantly. So, if you wanted to record it, you're ready to go, uh, which is a really awesome thing because if there's something cool that happened five minutes ago and you just happen not to do it you can get to it one thing i don't like is to quit a game you used to double tap home and be able to do it now you have to tap home go over to the game and click it and then leave but one of the coolest new additions to this besides being fast and streamlined is the new achievement tracking that's right you can go to your achievements you can go to the tracker now and when you click on it now it gives you a custom tracker for three achievements and you can put it anywhere on the screen you want. That's right. So if I want it in the top right, top middle, we'll try it in the middle and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now when we go into Resident Evil, bam, right in the middle of the screen, there's the three achievements we're going for. And on those three achievements that we're going for, the tracker will be there. So you'll see the bar and the progress where you're getting. What's cool is you can go in you have the configure tracker here and you can put it anywhere you want you want it in the bottom right you just back out and there it is if you it'll be the top three achievements you have that are normal but if you go in and you highlight one you want just press X that makes it your favorite you pick three that you want that you're really searching for getting or trying to keep track of and those three that you just picked bam right there on the screen that's an awesome thing and I'm glad Microsoft did it and I like the fact that I can put it anywhere on the screen. Okay, now moving on, the thing I said before, having to close the game this way, kind of a pain, but I'm getting used to it. If you had music in the background, down here is a permanent player that would display. I don't have anything installed on this Xbox, but if I did, you would see it. And the music player would permanently be at the bottom, right above the pins. So you could adjust, you can add songs, do it right on the fly with one button press. Very cool. Now the last thing they did, and probably the most amazing thing, is in the ease of access, they've now made it so you can have a co-pilot setting. What's a co-pilot setting? Well, what a co-pilot setting is, if you take a second controller and you, you link them up, now if you have a young child who has a hard time playing games or someone uh, who's stuck, you can play the game for them. Or if you're handicapped, and you have to make different controllers because things happen, you can actually program every button on each controller, every stick, every trigger, and then 
make one controller out of it. So say if you were disabled and you had to use your foot for one and you had to use a hand for the other, you can use two controllers to make one now. Or you can play to help the younger ones get through. It's an awesome, awesome thing. Um, I'm big into achievements, so I like the achievement tracker. But I think everything's good here. Um, so that's pretty much the update. You guys are going to get it in March, and I'm kind of testing it out right now. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you enjoy this? Do you think it's cool? Is it something that you're happy about? Do you wish they'd stop screwing around with the dashboard? Me personally, I didn't like it that much at first. But now the ease of access, just tap left, bam. It's, I mean, it's right here. You got your messages. Your, everything's literally right here. And look how fast. I mean, it's fast. I don't know why the left button and the home were the same. And they couldn't have just left it a double tap. But now I can just hit left on the D-pad. Boom. I can do my recording options if I was playing a game. I could change my music on the fly. And it's lightning fast. So anyways, I'm Gaming with Red. I hope you found this informative. If you did, give it a like down below. Hit that subscribe button so I can keep adding new content. I do games weekly games gaming videos every week. And I do appreciate the support. And hopefully this was helpful to you guys. You could see it. Um, anyways, I'm signing off. Game with Red. Peace.